Today we are doing the converter. From diesel or gas pacers to rocket powered racers. Nomads, go mats, RV schoolies. Turn it, tweak it, tune it, fix it so smoothly. That's why he's batch. Everybody needs one. <coughs> Battery charger, power station, whatever you want to call it. It's the one that takes power, 12 volt power and AC power and makes everything in your trailer work. So there's lots of misconceptions about it because a lot of people think they're tied together and that one works with the other and the, it's nothing like that. It's, the new ones are not complicated at all. The older ones were a little bit of a pain, but the new ones aren't complicated at all. And uh, so we're gonna show you here in a video um, exactly what is what, the 12 volt side, the 120 side, the battery charger, and what, um, how they're tied together. Now that battery power distribution center is nothing more than a fancy battery charger. That is all it is. It's nothing more. So if it goes out, get a battery charger and put it on your battery and plug it in. That's all you have to do. And your 12 volt system is back up and running. That's all you have to do. So um, I'll show you the video. Okay, here's the, this is the, what they call a converter. What it takes is 120 and converts it to 12 volt. Now everybody's under a really, there's a lot of different ways of thinking about this, but not very many people. Like people think this is all tied together. It's not really tied together. All there is, is this battery converter. You take 120 volts in here and it puts 12 volt out to the battery. Now, this is why you can run it without a battery because these wires go right here to the panel, not to the battery. So you can run your trailer without a battery in it because the power comes up through the red wire into there and the ground's there. And this is the ground to the, um, to the battery outside, right? This is the power wires here. And this is the power wires from, the, from this charger. This is nothing more than a glorified battery charger. That's all it is. Now, if for some reason this goes out, you just put a battery charger on your battery. That's all you need to do. And everything will run the same. Like the old ones used to have um, solenoids and all that stuff. They don't have that now. All it is is a battery charger. It takes 120 and turns it into 12 volt. That is it. Now, on this side, it's all breakers. Now, you'll notice I have a whole bunch off because we don't use them, right? This is uh, the 15 amp power circuit. We're on 30 amp right now. And we don't use the air conditioner. We don't use the hot water tank. And this is a converter, okay? Now, this is, this is, now I turned on my 12 volt, right? And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, now, on the 12 volt side, forget the 120. Well, Forget the 120, 12 volt side. Now you got fuses here and you got two 40 amp fuses. This comes from the battery. Now they used to have these on the outside but they had lots of problems with them. So now you don't need a fuse between the battery coming in. You don't need it. So now if a, say for instance, one of these fuses blows, if the fuse blows, and there's power to it, it will give you a red light to tell you the fuse is gone. You put in a brand new fuse and the light will go out. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever circuit the fuse is, right? You put it back in. That If there's a red light on there, that means the fuse is gone. Okay? Now, don't worry about this O2 sensor. I don't have that anymore because we have this other one um, but yeah that's how this works it's very simple this is 12 volt and this is 120 and they do not join anywhere what this is is that you have to these battery chargers that come with it are very cheap and they'll will boil your batteries or they'll they're not good for your batteries. That's why you only get about two years out of an RV battery. That's why, because the battery charger. Now, you can um, change that 
and get one that's called a, a smart charger. And it'll charge it up, turn itself off, and so on. And you can get one of these. This one here, you have to very well check. If you throw a, um, a lithium-based battery in, you have to make sure that your charger is set up for lithium base. Not all of them are. So you got to check that. No, they won't tell you that, but you have to check that. Okay? So this is 120. This is 12 volt. There's nowhere they're tied together except through the battery charger. If you take the wires off here and the wire off here, they're, they're not together at all. Not one bit. That's how the 12 volt works. Every All your lights are in 12 volt. Your fridge, um, all that stuff, your hot water tank, all comes through here on the 12 volt side, right? And the 120 side, if you got 120 hot water heater, it comes off this side. And no, if you turn the 12 volt on, hot water tank, it does not turn on the 120. And if you turn the 120 on, it doesn't turn the 12 volt on. They're not tied together. That's what I'm trying to get through, is that they're not tied together. So they're totally two separate systems, and the only thing that makes them together is when you plug in the shore power. So I'll leave that with you. Hope you get something out of it. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are traits deeply ingrained in our country's DNA. For many of us who travel this glorious country of ours, we thrive as we engage with and witness its awesome bounty. Unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters who've helped make all of this possible aren't thriving. Visit HeroSoapCompany.com and place your order using coupon code BADGE at checkout. Not only will you receive a discount, but you'll be helping Badge help our vets. I believe in the soap. I've tried it. It works awesome. And that's why I'm doing it. Badge. Everybody needs one. And we love our badge. And, and remember, remember, he's, he's not, not asking. asking.